Dear students, today we will study hybrid seed production. Hybrid is one of the main contributor to the dramatic rise in agricultural output during the last century. Hybrid seed production is based on the cross-pollination of diversely related two pure lines showing desirable traits. Hybrid seeds are preferred by farmers because all the hybrid seeds planted by the farmer will produce similar plant. But there are some disadvantages also. The seeds of the next generation from those hybrids will not consistently have the desired character. This is the major drawback. That is why the farmer needs every time new hybrid seed to maintain the character. The controlled hybrids provide very uniform characteristic because they are produced by crossing two inbreed strains. Breeders' responsibility. They have to develop inbreed lines. They have to identify the <coughs> specific parental line and develop system of pollen control. Major problem for breeders and producers. Number one is maintenance of parental line. It is really a difficult process to maintain parent line every time and inbreed line. And number two is separation of male and female reproductive organ. It is also a tedious process. You have learned the procedure. And number three is pollination. These all are time-consuming, tedious process. So, these are uh, the problems also of breeder. Characteristic of parental line. Female parent, it should be high seed yield. It should be good seed characteristics. It should, have, it should possess male sterility. It will be a better choice. And in male parents, the better choice is good pollen production, long shedding period, and plant height. Basic procedure for hybrid seed production. Number one is development and identification of parent lines. Number two, multiplication of parental lines. Number three, crossing between parental line and production of F1. Number four, commercial hybrid seed production demands crossing technique, which is easy and also economic to maintain parental line. Only few crossing mechanism have been adopted for commercial seed production. They are hand emasculation and pollination, self-incompatibility, dye cleaning, that is uh, monoecious or dioecious, it is uh, natural and it is in unisexual plants and male sterility. Hybrid seed production in allogamous plants. In nature, to create genetic variability and for its wider adaptation in different environments, flowering plant has adopted many mechanisms for cross-pollination. Cross-pollination result in genetic heterogeneity and show wider adaptation. So, it is supported by nature also. In cross-pollinated plants, it is easy to produce hybrid as there are many mechanisms that promote cross-pollination in nature. Number one is dicliny, that is unisexuality, dicogamy, that is different type of pollination, hercogamy, that is uh, pollination by bee also, it is, uh, there is some barrier due to which uh, male and female parts cannot be met or uh, pollen cannot be uh, uh, stick to stigma directly. It, uh, it is, uh, there is some need of some uh, vectors. So bees do this thing and self incompatibility that is uh, plant, uh, if uh, the plant are produced on uh, maturity time are different, then also there may be self incompatibility and male sterility when male part is uh, dysfunctional. So all these uh, things support uh, hybrid seed production. With the proven impact of hybrid seed, new tools for hybrid seed production were discovered 
and utilized for uh, self pollinating crops including cytoplasmic male sterility cytoplasmic male sterility is a condition where the plant is unable to produce functional pollen and uh, would rely on other pollen sources to produce seed this greatly facilitates large scale hybrid seed production by passing hand pollination how male sterility is manifested in plant the absence or malformation of male organ in dioecious plant failure to develop normal anther abnormal microsporogenesis leading to inviable pollen non dehiscent anthers but viable pollen sporophytic control barrier preventing pollen from reaching ovum these all are the factors which influence the male sterility in plants classification of male sterility male sterility can be classified as phenotypic male sterility genotypic male sterility and chemically induced male sterility phenotypic male sterility is natural and depend on environment condition of plant so we utilize least this in plant breeding program okay and i have told you about this at this earlier and genotypic male sterility it is of four type genetic male sterility which is dependent on nucleus cytoplasmic male sterility it is dependent upon cytoplasm cytoplasmic genetic male sterility it is dependent on both cytoplasm and nucleus and transgenic male sterility it is induced by human and it is by genetic engineer genetic male sterility is further divided into environment sensitive and environment insensitive environment sensitive is further divided into tgms that is uh temperature sensitive genetic male sterility and pgms that is photoperiod sensitive genetic male sterility phenotypic male sterility structural male sterility that is abnormality in male sac organ sporogenous male sterility that is stamens form but pollen absent functional male sterility that is viable pollen form but barrier prevents fertilization or inability of pollen to migrate to stigma or other factors that affect fertilization genetic male sterility is controlled by mutation in nuclear gene in the single recessive genes affect uh, stamens and pollen development but uh, it can also be regulated by dominant gene example safflower the male sterile line is allowed to cross pollinated with a male fertile line male sterile line is called a line and male fertile line is called maintainer line or b line that combines well with the male sterile line and the seed produced on the male sterile line is the hybrid seed the hybrid is male fertile the maintenance of male sterile line normally the genetic male sterile line is a line which is uh, homozygous recessive is maintained by back crossing with the heterozygous b line that is maintainer line but the progeny produced are 50% fertile and 50% sterile let us see how male sterile line is maintained we cross line a with line b line a is uh, male sterile line and line b is maintainer line line a is always recessive okay and uh, line b is heterozygous dominant and when we cross this uh, what we get we get male fertile line and male sterile line both in one is to one ratio male fertile line will be the heterozygous dominant line okay 
when male is sterile line is further crossed with B line that is MSMS and then again we get 50% fertile and 50% sterile. When we cross this with uh, male uh, heterozygous male fertile line then we uh, are able to maintain the male sterile line. Okay. Let us see how GMS genetic male sterility used in hybrid development. For this line A is crossed with line R. You should always remember that line A is male sterile line with recessive homozygous gene that is MSMS and line R is homozygous dominant gene, male fertile line. Okay, line R is restorer line and in this case commercial hybrid seed are produced and all the line will be male fertile and all the Y line will be dominant and homozygous. Separation of male fertile plant from the female is costly operation and due to this cost of hybrid seed is higher. Therefore, genetic male sterility has been exploited commercially only in few crops by few countries. In USA it is used in castor while in India it is used for hybrid seed production of arhar. Cytoplasmic male sterility, CMS. The pollen sterility which is controlled by cytoplasmic genes is known as cytoplasmic male sterility. Usually the cytoplasm of zygote come primarily from the egg cell and due to this progeny of such male sterile plant would always be male sterile. Utilization in plant breeding. CMS has limited application. It cannot uh, be used for development of hybrid which, in which uh, seeds is economic product but it can be used for producing hybrid seed in certain ornamental species or asexually propagated species like sugarcane, potato and forage crops. Male sterility is controlled by nuclear gene expression which is also influenced by environmental factor. I have already told you that uh, it is TGMS that is temperature sensitive male sterility and PGMS photo period sensitive male sterility. It is also controlled by chemical and it is that is called chemical induced male sterility. This non genetic genetic method of inducing male sterility involves the use of chemical called chemical hybridizing agent or CHAs or gametocyte. Three line hybrid seed technology. Since this system involves three lines A, B and R line, it is called a three line system. The hybrids developed by utilizing this system are called three line hybrids. Requirement of three lines in CMS system A line that is homozygous recessive number one stable sterility number two well developed floral traits for outcrossing number three easily wide spectrum and strongly to be restored B line which is also called maintainer line it is heterozygous well developed floral traits with large pollen load and number two is good combining ability. R line that is restorer line that is homozygous dominant line. It has a strong restorer ability. It should be good combining ability and it should have large pollen load, normal flowering traits and timing. Steps involved in cytoplasmic male sterility for hybrid seed production. Step 1 is multiplication of CMS that is uh, cytoplasmic male sterile line or A line is crossed with maintainer line B line. You just see the cytoplasm is here it is written as it is cytoplasm is sterile and here and cytoplasm is normal. Okay, and uh, although in this uh, the gene are recessive in both the case, 
and in this case when it cross with uh, A line and B line then we get cytoplasmic male sterile line or A line okay because the nucleus is same in both the gene and I want to tell you uh, uh, that uh, the first we write the here it is female plant and it is male plant. First we write female parent and then we write male parents okay and second step is hybrid seed production. So in this when the CMS line is produced or A line is produced further A line is crossed with restorer line. I have always told you that restorer line is dominant homozygous line. When we cross with this we get heterozygous dominant line and it is the cytoplasmus male esteride. This hybrid is commercially grown by farmer and this is a hybrid seed. Two line system of hybrid production. Hybrid produced by chemically induced male sterility is called uh, two line hybrid or uh, multiplication of environment sensitive genetic male sterile line is also two line system of hybrid production. Let us see two line system. Here it may be TGMS or PGMS and when it is crossed with any storal line then the seed is produced and which is a hybrid seed. Here we, we can take CHS also. Let us see what is advantage of two line versus three line system. In three line system we use three lines. Maintenance of three line is very difficult. In step one what we do? A cross B. Line A is crossed with B which is maintenance line and for uh, multiplication of female same as line. We maintain this and in step 2 what we do A cross R line which is hybrid seed production and this hybrid seed is produced and it is utilized for commercial cultivation. Okay. What we do in two line system there may be TGMS, PGMS or pollen parent or uh, it may be CHA, CHS also. We, we take S line here, S line is synthetic line or uh, you can say sensitive line and uh, for multiplication of female environment sensitive genetic male sterile line in a fertility inducing environment. We multiply this in fertility inducing environment. Okay, So only we need a environment to create this TGMS thermosensitive uh, male sterile line or photosensitive male environment line. So we have only to change the environment of particular plant and we have to provide that environment to the plant. And then when the line is produced then we take pollen parent or any recurrent parent and we cross it and we get hybrid seed in F1 generation. Production of hybrid seed in a sterility inducing environment. Okay, And this hybrid seed is utilized for commercial cultivation. That is all for today. Thank you.